So now we're going to go to Second Timothy. We got to kind of try to move along a little quicker here, because mm -hmm. uh, we got a still a lot of bombshells yes. to unload here. Yes. Second Timothy three one through five. Mm -hmm. I got this: a change in attitude that leads to immoral beliefs. Mm -hmm. A change in attitude that leads to immoral beliefs. Mm -hmm. See, in order to accept Talmud, rabbinics, all that kind of stuff, you have to have a change in your attitude of your beliefs, mm -hmm. and that attitude allows you access to these beliefs. So if you don't have the right attitude, it's going to take you to a place where you don't, you really shouldn't be going. So mm -hmm. in verse one, it says, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come mm -hmm. for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud as to be above others with haughtiness, blasphemers against Yahweh, disobedient as the, as unpersuadable to of obedience to parents unthankful, unholy, unloving, mm -hmm. without natural affection, with hard-handedness, hard hard handedness, mm -hmm. unforgiving, slanderers, with self-control, without self-control, brutal, to the point of savagery. That's pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Despisers with a hostile spirit of good. And mm -hmm. we're, boy, we're seeing that on the streets today, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Traitors who give themselves over to the enemy's hands, headstrong, Mm -hmm. whose heads are so clouded and inflated with self-conceit, haughty lovers and of pleasure rather than lovers of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Having in a form, having a form and resemblance of Elohim, mm -hmm. which is holiness with piety, but denying with contradiction and rejecting its power that is miraculous of itself mm -hmm. and of from such people turn away by deflecting it. Anybody, anybody that's trying to turn you uh, against the commandments of Yahweh, turn away from mm -hmm. them. Turn away. Um, for this one, I just labeled it like your topic. Mm -hmm. And I said, has the Talmud crushed the testicles of your mind and heart? Exactly. And I won't get deep into the various ways because it's all outlined in there. Mm -hmm. If any one of these things have came upon us, and I'm telling you, I've been in all of them, hard-headed, mm -hmm. high-minded, puffed up, all kind of way. It was crushing me because I was using scriptures to be that way when mercy right, right, and right. judgment and truth was least on that. If any one of them things is speaking to you like they spoke to me. Repent. Repent and believe that it's Yahweh that's revealing this to you. We're not calling anybody out. No. <laughs> we just explaining experiences, places we've been through, things we experienced to, to stop a lot of people from going through this stuff. Things this that process. nobody else wants to stand up and talk about. Exactly. The truth. Just tell them the truth. Just the truth. It's That's that all. simple. 